Today, in the Show Me State, the Fighting Hogs hope to show Missouri State that the spring playoff game wasn't just a one-time thing. This is a big one here with this opportunity today. Green means go as Brady Stevens approaches the football here. Here comes the pressure, and Shelly's been spun around. He lost the ball, and North Dakota has it. The ball lost, popped up in the air, and UNT turns over the Bears. Vaughn rolling out to his right, goes into the end zone, calling for a man. Touchdown, North Dakota. Zavalli got free on the near side. Hey, good job, oh. oh, this way is in. His third touchdown of the game, and North Dakota has opened up a two-score lead. It's not over yet. One more first down, they'll be able to get in victory formation. Soda's being pursued. Now the ball pops out. It is fumbled. It's loose, and this is going to hurt. Missouri State has the football. Third down and goal to go for the two-yard line. North Dakota holding on to a three-point lead. Missouri State trying to win the game. Here's Shelley. Drops back in the pocket. Shelley. Touchdown, Missouri State. And they've stolen the lead. Missouri State will win it 32-28. They steal one in their house in Springfield. Such a heartbreaking, disappointing loss the way it happened. When you're up two scores in the fourth, you obviously want to hold the lead, and it just didn't happen. It is what it is. You know, there's nothing we can do about it now except, you know, go over the corrections, see what we could have done better, and move forward. There's no point in just thinking about it all day, you know, we just got to move on. You're always going to have adversity um, in your life. You got to put one foot in front of the other and, and keep going forward. And... It's easy when things are going well for you, and it's tough right now to be great in November, but we're going to challenge our guys and, and ourselves to do that. We tell our team all the time, once we go through experiences, if we learn from those, we're, we're going to get better because of it. Let's go, Hayden, Jason. Come on, Evan. Got to be into it. Let's go. I'm Evan Holm. I'm from Edina, Minnesota, and I'm a senior cornerback for UND. Here we go, here we go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I think it was 2016. I came up for one of the camps in the summer, and I did well at the camp, and then I ended up getting an offer, um, and that was my first offer, I believe. And um, I committed uh, right away and kind of just kept with that offer. Yeah, you know, I think Coach Kostic did a great job developing a relationship with Evan and the family. And we were playing on the West Coast at that time, and we were selling a different story here, you know, about our institution. And we wanted him to be a part of it because we felt he was really a good fit. And we were really pleased to get that commitment. It was just really cool to come onto a team that just had some success right away, um, nine and two football season. After starting 0-2, it was really cool to see how the team bounced back from that. You know, I didn't play a whole lot, but when I did, it was just kind of nice to be out there with some really good players. I got to learn from, you know, some good corners and safeties and um, just being more comfortable out there. I used to get nervous before games, and I still do, but not, not as much. I'm more excited and kind of just ready to play and just feel really calm out there, which is kind of nice to have. You know, he's been a really solid player for us, a little bit of a checkered uh, career because of health, but uh, great to see him these last two seasons really playing some of his best football, you know, and he's made some big plays. Uh, that always sticks out when you think of players, the kickoff return that uh, against Weber State. Evan Holm takes this kickoff at the one. Got some space on the right side. Evan Holm still on his feet, and there he goes! Evan Holm in the clear! Touchdown, UND! You know, that was my way of being like a leader, was trying to do my best every play and um, hoping everybody else would do that too. If I made a play, then, you know, hopefully that sparked spark someone else to make a play. So just consistent, you know, solid. Evan has been awesome to be around. He's really a fun kid to coach. Um, you know, he's a, he's a quiet leader, um, but he's got a really good personality and just a guy that's been a stalwart at the corner position that you can really depend on. You know, he's the same guy every day. You know what you're going to get. You know what you're going to get when he's out there on the field. And, and uh, you know, that maturity level really helps. And right now, the only married guy on the team. And uh, so he is mature. And 
He's in a little different point in his life than a lot of other the guys on our team. I met my wife actually in high school, high school sweetheart. She was a year older than me. Um, we were, we went to the same dance. We, I wasn't going with her at that dance, but that's where I met her. Um, and we became friends and then I asked her out before she went to um, college. And she went to Vermont and then transferred to UND. And yeah, I got married uh, this summer in July, July 2nd. Um, it was just really awesome. All right, there you go, there you go. Yeah, so 2019 I ended up redshirting because um, of an injury. So I played four games and I really just wanted to come back for another healthy season. And then COVID hit. So then had to play in the spring and I was still kind of battling an injury that I picked up um, in training. So I thought, why not come back for one more? I talked to Erica about it and we're, uh, we're all good with that. So I was just wanted to come back and be healthy and kind of try to go for, you know, a championship. Yeah, I think that's awesome. Like guys want to be a part of the program for another year. I mean, uh, they, they got their senior years kind of a weird circumstance with COVID and they wanted to come back and, and finish it out the right way. And I think a lot of those guys um, after the last game against JMU felt like, hey, you know, we, we can do a lot better than, than what we did and, and we want to go give it another go around and, and uh, play football with our, with our buddies and our teammates. Yeah, um, a lot of the seniors I talked to about coming back, I know some have aspirations playing the next level. So um, they obviously wanted to come back for that, you know, get more film on them. And then a lot of people just, you know, want to play football again and it might be their last opportunity. And we only got seven games in the spring. So just having that next chance to come and play and also get to hang out, you know, every day with them. Yeah, you know, that's the hard part about coaching college football, the relationships that you build. And it seems like they're here a long time, but it really goes by fast. And you're going to miss those people. I'll miss Evan. But, you know, really excited for his future. And, and what his future holds for him. I just think he's an awesome person and has a bright future. Yeah, every year you, when the seniors leave, it's always um, different, but um, as you're a coach, you understand that's the way it goes. You know, you gotta get the next guys ready and, and you hope to see those guys back for homecoming and, and hang out with them then. But, um, you know, they put their time in and they're, and they're valued, uh, now valued alums. I'll definitely miss just having the opportunity to compete every day. Um, I like football. A lot. Um, some of the other stuff is kind of gets to be a grind, but the, the, the best part is being able to compete against um, really good individuals, especially on other teams, but not also on our team. So just being able to come out and kind of give your best every day and you get to exercise and, and just kind of feel good out there um, is probably what I'll, I'll miss most. And also miss kind of the coaches and the camaraderie with the team and just kind of joking around, messing around, you know. I probably won't remember, you know, all those missed plays or made plays, but I'll remember just joking around with the guys and, you know, having fun after practice, before practice, in the locker room. So I'll definitely miss that.